Despite the name, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is a reboot of 2008 cult classic Mirror's Edge rather than a sequel or simply another game set in the same universe. Much like the previous game, it's a parkour-inspired first-person runner set in a dystopian city of glass. You'll play as Faith, the same character from the first game. She's a runner. They're couriers who specialize in delivering not exactly legal goods in a seemingly oppressive regime. And while you may have good or bad memories of the previous game, it's obvious from the outset that Catalyst is a drastically different experience. We played the Xbox One version of the game via EA's early access program to tell you what you need to know before you buy. Using the same tech that powers Battlefield and Need for Speed, you'd think that Catalyst would be quite the looker. And you'd be wrong. While it holds a steady frame rate, there's an abundance of jagged edges and low resolution textures. But the biggest inconsistency are in its character faces. Some look distinctively current generation, while others look on par with what you'd expect from a game running the Unreal Engine in 2001. The long loading times in excess of 20 seconds don't do it any favors either. While we're a few hours in and aren't completely able to judge the plot, the dialogue seems like it was tacked on as an afterthought. Been gone a long time. With cheesy lines and some distinctly unlikable characters, such as fellow runner Icarus, or your foster father slash employer slash oddball love interest Noah, or even the clingy nomad, it's almost as annoying as 2015's Need for Speed, if not more so. Keep your expectations suitably low or non-existent in this department. Much like every big budget console and PC game this generation, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is open world. You'll drop off items, best your parkour timings, and indulge in all sorts of side quests that wouldn't be out of place in Far Cry or Assassin's Creed. It's an interesting direction to take, even more so when you consider how linear the first game was. One of the biggest complaints against the first Mirror's Edge was that navigating the game world was a painful affair. Now, this is not the case with Runner Vision. Runner Vision is what happens when turn-by-turn -turn Google Maps meets augmented reality, showing you a path from one area to another without much of a fuss. For most part, it works as it should. But if you're using it, what's the point of having an open world? There are parts of the game you will probably never ever see if you use Runner Vision. This time around, you won't simply just run and slide your way out of trouble. Hand-to-hand -hand combat works and for most part, it's delightfully entertaining. With a simple combo system and slick traversal, you feel like you have a fighting chance against the game's many goons who are armed or otherwise. While our time with Mirror's Edge Catalyst proved to be a mixed bag, it will be interesting to see how the full game shapes up. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Gadgets360.